Hello guys, this is Quick Tip of the Week, and today we're going to be learning about motion blur. Let's begin. Hello everyone, this is Josh, and I'm back with Quick Tip of the Week. Now, I'm sorry I've been gone for quite some time, I just got back from spring break, I just wanted to take a little bit of a vacation, but we're going to get straight into it. So today, I'm going to teach you how to do motion blur. This is something that is very useful in many different type of manipulations that you might be making. So quickly, I'm just going to show you what you can do to make your projects even better. Okay, so this is a school project that I actually did. Um, it's just a quick little thing that I, sh uh, I try to make a sort of atomic bomb kind of uh, manipulation. Um, I wasn't exactly happy with how uh, the bomb itself ended up, but it came out okay. What I really want to talk about is how I made the plane uh, look more of a motion, um, look more like it's in movement. So we're going to show that, I'm going to show that to you real quick. So here I have two different types, or three layers per plane, okay? So the body itself first wing, and then the second wing, okay? So, what you're gonna do for, uh, first is just open up the plane itself. Just get whatever you can. Uh, let me find the plane real quick. Okay. So now that we have the plane, we're quickly just gonna get rid of the, bla uh, the white background. Nice and simple like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our pen tool and we are gonna quickly outline the, um, the uh, propeller of the plane. You need to do this to make it look like the propeller is moving, otherwise it's gonna be a moving body with a still propeller which it doesn't really look right in manipulation. So I'm just gonna do this real quickly. Okay, now that we have it selected, first thing we're gonna do is right click on the um, on the uh, the pen tool selection, and now what we're gonna do is make selection, and then just click OK, make, leave everything the same. Now what you're gonna do is do Control C or Command C, and then you're gonna do Command X to get rid of everything. Okay, so now uh, what you're gonna do is just create two new layers. And then just do Control C or Control V on one of the layers, and then on the other layer do Control V again. Okay, so you're gonna select the first layer, and then just move it back into where the uh, it was originally. Okay. So what we're gonna do with this is just um, select the layer, and then we're gonna go to Filter, Blur, and then we're gonna go to Motion Blur. Okay. So now this is where it comes to what you like. So we're just gonna create the distance down. You don't want that much motion blur, but you still want it to be noticeable. Okay. Now you can play with the angle of it, just whichever angle you'd like. All right, I'm gonna actually put it to 45. And then I'm going to put a distance of about three. All right, now that we have that, we're just going to readjust it. Okay. So now what you can actually do is just delete the, the other layer and then just do, um, just select the first layer and then do command C and then command uh, V. All right. So now that should bring up a brand new layer. Okay. Of course, uh, Photoshop doesn't want to work correctly. So then you just go to blur and just do the same thing. Just go to motion blur and then just leave it like that. Everything should be exactly the same and then just do okay. Okay, so you're gonna readjust it to about the same uh, position as layer one. And then all you're gonna do is just quickly turn it just a tiny bit to where it looks like it's moving. 
Okay, now that we have the propeller done, we're just going to do the body real quick. We're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go to blur and then motion blur. Now this, you have to be careful with this. You want it to be just, just right. Um, everything does look so fine, but you might want to do a little bit more of a blur to the body. Okay, so now that we have that, we're just going to readjust it. And now, as you can see, it looks like the plane is actually moving. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This is what I did in uh, every single one of these planes right here. You can tell if you look closely how it is blurred, and it's a uh, it's a really nice effect that I really like to do. So, guys, if this uh, if you did enjoy this, then please do remember to like and comment. And if you got guys, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Adobe After Effects, Cinema 4D, and Adobe Illustrator, then please do subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you later.